you very much. My cousin gave me a few bits and uh, I must admit I do play with it and I just went round the car boot sales and got other bits. Now they're getting harder to get so you, you have to go to the fairs and pick them up like the proper Star Wars fairs. Well, I mean, Star Wars is one of the most, the, the greatest phenomena to happen in toys because these are basically three and three quarter inch figures and they revolutionized the toy industry, not only in the United States, but, but in Europe as well, because before that, figures had tended to be six inch or 12 inch. And then Kenner decided that for Star Wars, they wanted to make the figures small enough to fit into the toy vehicles that, that came with it. Uh, what's your favorite uh, figure here? Well, I think that's got to be Yoda, the Jedi Master. Why is that? Well, he, he plays a good part in the film and he makes me laugh. What is so fascinating about Star Wars is that it's the little tiniest changes in the costumes that can make the difference between a figure being 50 pence to two pounds to then suddenly being 50 pounds. If we look at uh, the Jawa figure here, yes. this has got a cloth cape on it. If that had a vinyl cape, that was the early production one which they stopped making and that figure then suddenly becomes a 50 pound figure. Now, this character here, Tell me his name on that. Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Uh, I can't see the back of him, but I would guess that he hasn't got a J rocket launcher on, on the back. No, he doesn't, and I'm very disappointed with that. <laughs> well, if he had that, it's amazing. I mean, that figure is, what, how much did you pay for that? About three, four pounds, something Three, like three or four pounds. If that had the J rocket launcher on, what did they make? 10, 20 of those, and suddenly it could, it could be worth up to a thousand pounds. But I think we know what may be the one of the hardest figures here to get, yes. which is that. Um, yak face here. Why, why do you think that is? Well, according to my books, he was only brought out in Canada and a few countries in Europe and was brought out in America, of course. That's right, and there were, there were two sets of packaging for it. There was the tri-logo packaging, which basically had return of the, the Jedi logo in different languages. There's also a packaging with a coin, uh, which was the special edition, and that one's worth even more. I mean, that figure as it is, even though it's missing uh, part of its equipment, is probably worth 40 or 50 pounds. Uh, but in its packaging could be worth up to, up to 200. And you know, I'm so glad you're buying them now. And the best source of information is to subscribe to magazines and to the many Star Wars books, and you'll be able to build up an excellent collection. Well done. Thank you. I mean, the force be with you. <laughs> well, that just about brings us